Good evening. I'm Megan Mannering. And I'm Larry Smith. Glad you're with us. Lexington Christian Academy is remembering a beloved member of its community. 63-year-old Pete Akatsa died from colon cancer on Saturday. LEX 18's Evelyn Schultz shares how they're remembering the PE teacher, the coach, and the legendary athlete. In tonight's Big Story at 6. Before Peter Katza taught for 25 years at Lexington Christian, he represented his home country of Kenya in two Olympic Games. But those who loved Coach Pete in Kentucky say they never heard him brag. He was a better athlete than anybody he coached. Um, but you never, you never felt that way. He made you feel that you were a better athlete than he was. It just wasn't true. It was his humble and joyful spirit students and athletes loved, as well as fellow teachers. I felt super lucky to be tied to him because my kid, four kids had him and talked about him and everyone talked about how much of an amazing man he was. As a child, Akatsa excelled at both rugby and field hockey, according to an obituary. After moving to the United States, he studied at Eastern Kentucky University and then became a teacher at LCA, where he also coached soccer teams. Coach Akatsa, he's my hero. Um, you know, it's been an emotional few days thinking about him. Um, he coached me 20 years ago, and I still feel this way about him. Akatsa was diagnosed with colon cancer early last year. He died Saturday, but the school will not forget the legacy he leaves behind. The kids he's taught here over 25 years and the kids he's coached outside of this school, um, he just, he, he loved everybody every day. The students who loved him back are remembering Coach Pete by wearing bucket hats. They're also leaving notes outside his office, a tribute to the man who made a lasting impact on their lives. I think that he would want to be remembered as a godly man. He was faithful. He wasn't scared. He knew where he was going. Would not be the person I am today if it wasn't for Coach Akatsa. In Lexington, Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News. According to his obituary, a celebration of life is scheduled for October 26th at Southland Christian Church, Harrodsburg Road Campus.